Blanford. Patriots! Oh, come on. Y'all can do better than that. Patriots! Wait a minute, wait a minute. I heard you, but I don't think they heard you. Patriots! I see a lot of my brothers and my sisters have shown up here in D.C. today to stand up for our rights. We're a diverse group of patriots here who care deeply about our republic and about the rights guaranteed to us by the Constitution. One of the most fundamental rights is that of self-preservation. As Americans, our right to self-preservation is expressed through our Second Amendment. It's important that our government remember just how important that right is and to reaffirm it. And that's what we're doing here today, is sending them a reminder. Firearms are not just for hunting, like the opponents of freedom would have you believe. Firearms owned by citizens are the tools of a free people. They're the great equalizer against both outside enemies seeking to conquer us or a government that turns tyrannical. For years, clever wordsmiths who want to take away our firearms have continuously and carefully crafted frightening and false terms such as assault weapons to scare people away. Yeah, ooh. <laughs> to scare people away from owning guns, who, and they've worked to pass more laws to infringe on our rights day by day. We've allowed these people to undermine our sovereignty and our security in the name of perceived safety. The illusion of safety is nothing more than a wolf in sheep's clothing. Like Benjamin Franklin said, those who would give up essential liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither liberty nor safety. And we the people are tired of giving up our liberty. When the anti-gun establishment asks us to compromise on gun rights, we receive nothing in return. Lately, this style of politics has been the norm on the Hill. Politicians from both sides have engaged and worked to reduce even our outright, destroy our rights systematically. To preserve our rights and freedoms, we're forced to pick a political side and hope for the best. Sometimes we still lose. The side we pick doesn't always end up being on our side completely. We have to roll the dice. Anyone who disagrees with giving up these liberties are falsely labeled domestic terrorists. Our founding fathers were viewed the same way. The principles and values that made this country great are passed off as antiquated. And who needs any of these old-fashioned ideas and freedom, they say. It's time to move on, they say. And in many ways, we've lost our way as a nation. It's a part where I turn the page. Thank you. We've fallen into the deadly traps of complacency and political correctness. We've allowed those who dislike us to divide us by race and class when all Americans should be united when it comes to preserving the Second Amendment and advancing liberty. We've lost our fire and our courage, and we've allowed weak people with pen and paper to legislate away our core values and our way of life. It's a tough pill to swallow, but many Americans have been persuaded to reject the truth and instead substitute an emotional response. Emotions should never be used to drive politics and policy. Despite all their hard work to steal our freedoms, we're still a great nation and we have accomplished much. Despite all their work done to steal our freedoms, hard times built this nation and I'm afraid more hardship will follow us to defend our way of life. We're presently engaged in a cold war of censorship and suppression as the anti-gunners seek to restrict us in every way they can. Our voices are being substituted by false news. While there are many forces working against us, I'd like to propose a couple of solutions, if you'll allow me. Number one, thank you. Number one, a finite sunset on all gun laws. Make Congress work and use data to back up whether laws need to be passed again or whether they need to go away for good. A great example is the sunset 
of the 1994 assault weapons ban. The data released pr proved that the ban had very little to no effect on crime. That data proves that we need finite sunset on all gun laws. Congressional term limits. No more career politicians sucking us dry and passing law after law just to get reelected. Politics have become a ladder that many want to climb to achieve success, wealth, and status. These politicians have lost touch with the needs of the people. We need to take a closer look at lobbying on the Hill. Remove financial incentives from politics. Our rights should no longer be a bargaining chip that's gladly tossed around to the whims and wishes of a corrupt political elite. The Statue of Liberty holds a torch as a beacon of hope that there's a better world for us on the horizon. Guns are the teeth of liberty that protect our rights and keep men and women free from tyranny and oppression. If, we're, if we allow those that are against us to undermine the Second Amendment, our entire republic is for nothing. The lack of representation for gun owners on the Hill is troubling. And our founding fathers are probably rolling over in their graves. Thank you for your time. Thank you for attending. Stay strong. Keep the faith. I'll see you on the correct side of history.